morning, everyone. I'm Secretary Adams, California EPA, and we're very excited today to be unveiling some new technology in California that will help reduce air pollution, particularly around our uh, port areas in, in Long Beach and Los Angeles, although this technology can be used anywhere in the state. And this is a perfect example of how California's policies are driving technologies. This is a California success story. California technology manufactured in California and used in California. And I would like to introduce uh, with us here today um, Vision Industries Corporation, Martin Shurman. Martin. Martin's, right over here. Martin's over here. That is tall. <laughs> President and CEO. We'll be hearing from Martin shortly. And Lawrence uh, Weisdorn, COO and Chairman of Vision Industries Corporation. We are very excited today to unveil this um, new technology that will be used in California. So now I would like to um, introduce our governor, um, who is leading not only in California, but in the world in developing these policies that push this innovation. Governor Schwarzenegger, thank you. Thank you very much, Linda. This is uh, very exciting, uh, this uh, truck that is behind me here. And is, uh, it's called the Tyrano, is that correct? Tyrano. Tyrano, exactly. And um, as you know that we are uh, the first state in the union that have uh, created a policy of reducing our greenhouse gases by 25% by the year 2020. And in order to get there to that goal, certain things have to happen. And one of them is just, for instance, last uh, two weeks ago, I signed uh, you know, a, a uh, executive order uh, to uh, create renewable energy because the energy, 20% uh, of the greenhouse gases come from energy production. And uh, the same is again the case also when it comes to transportation to vehicles. 30% of the greenhouse gases are created by transportation by vehicles. So we have to work very heavily on that area. And one of the things that we can do, and you have seen that over these last few months, as a matter of fact, from the beginning of the year, I have bringing and introducing different cars here in front of the capital. That is a sports cars, Ford sedans, SUVs that are all hybrid or electric or hydrogen cars and so on. And one area that is very important to improve technology on is with trucks. It happened to be that I've seen this truck now twice. I've seen it down at the ports of Long Beach and Los Angeles, uh, where they're testing this truck right now. And then just uh, literally a day later, I saw it at the car show in Santa Monica, where they had alternative fuel vehicles displayed and it, uh, this truck created a big sensation. There are a lot of people around it. So I went there and looked at it and I saw again the same truck that I just saw a day before. And this car has zero emissions. Now here's a truck that is 535 horsepower and it goes up to 200 miles range uh, with uh, one charge. And it is, uh, like I said, it's hydrogen fuel cell, electric truck uh, with this new technology. And this is exactly where the future is. And I think that because of the kind of effort that we have made already here in California, we have seen uh, in the uh, port of Long Beach and uh, of Los Angeles, we have seen a reduction of greenhouse gases by 70% just in the last two and a half years. It's all because of technology. People are still driving the same size trucks and everything is the same, but I mean the technology, the tugboats now have hybrid engines rather than a fossil fuel or dirty, a dirty diesel. Uh, and this truck is a perfect example of that. So we are very excited about it. I want to say thank you to Martin Schumann, who is the CEO, for coming here today. We want to thank also Lawrence uh, Weistorn, uh, who is the COO, uh, for coming here and uh, bringing this truck all the way up from Long, Long Beach. And the other great thing about this is it's produced right here in California. And I think that California ought to be the, the, the center of the world when it comes to producing electric or alternative fuel vehicles. It's a job creator again. People always say when you go green, then you have to make the economy suffer. But it's not the case because this company creates great jobs and all of this kind of green technology uh, creates uh, great jobs. So we want to again thank them for this uh, great, great vehicle. And uh, I think now it's time to bring out uh, Martin Sherman to uh, say a few words about this great uh, truck, please. Thank you. Thanks. Absolutely. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this truck, the Tyreno, was designed to do uh, short haul um, solutions, which is basically there's a more than 100,000 short haul trucks currently working in the state of California. 
more than a million uh, nationwide. Uh, short haul trucks are usually trucks that are older, um, on their last leg, some of them. Um, these trucks are less efficient um, less um, and, and more polluting. Um, also, short haul trucks um, work in uh, higher populated urban areas, therefore have a, um, a larger impact on millions of Californians. And so this truck is zero emissions. It basically has more power, more torque than the regular diesel truck. And um, you know, we are excited uh, to introduce this to the port of Los Angeles and Long Beach. And uh, you know, I hope we can uh, put thousands of those to work uh, in the state of California. This truck is basically 30 to 35% cheaper to operate than any diesel truck especially in the short haul solutions because there's a lot of stop and go traffic and an electric motor doesn't idle. Uh, it doesn't have to idle when you're waiting you know, in queue to pick up your container. There are right now, I think, contracts of 2,000 uh, trucks. Uh, well, we're anticipating to do it. Yeah, the, yeah. there will be 2,000. So I think that, like I said, uh, this is a technology that really can be used uh, in a, for us to clean up um, our air and as you know that in uh, ports especially around the ports that, uh, that we have premature death and we have tremendous uh, health problems with that people have and I think that uh, so it's a, a double whammer here that we can fight global warming and at the same time also really create a healthier environment um, right here and also it's great for the economy like I said because this cars and this products are produced right here in California. This is the, the Vision Tyrano prototype um, so what we've done is sort of spread all the parts and pieces out for easy access. Uh, back here we have the battery pack and fuel cells. Up front we have the uh, driver or the uh, motors, all the controllers and the uh, accessories pack. The final production version, the battery pack will be approximately the width of the cab. So it'll end up in here. It'll come back about this far and it'll be about this high. So this box will be very uh, small compared to the current box. It'll look like an oversized toolbox back here. The main concern is to take this arrow kit and then run the arrow kit all the way back to the back uh, fenders. Uh, below here we have the hydrogen tanks. Um, these are uh, 16 and a half kilograms of hydrogen between the two tanks right now, one on each side. So the final configuration is we're going to have it'll be a short, slightly shorter truck, probably about a foot shorter. Uh, we'll have a very small box in the back that'll look like an oversized toolbox, and everything else will be under the hood.